Hi, I'm Susie and Cash with Techlicious, and we've been seeing a lot of wearables here at CES 2019. And what I have in front of me, this may look like a smart watch, but it may be a life-saving device for somebody who has diabetes. It has some sensors in here, and you're going to tell me exactly how this works. This is really cool. Hey, my name's Eric. I'm with Airbatic. We're based in Birmingham, Alabama. These wearables have the Aranos gas sensing chip built into them. This chip can sense gases at the parts per billion level. So when a diabetic has, uh, when their blood sugar goes up or down, the actual chemistry of their breath changes. They start breathing out different volatile organic chemicals. Our chip is able to pick those up and then communicate to an app which alerts them that something may be going on, their blood sugar may be getting high or getting low and they should go check But it. you don't have to like breathe on your wrist, don't right? don't have to breathe into it at all. The, the, the chips from Aranos are, uh, are sensitive enough that they can detect at the parts per billion level. So that allows us to develop a device that can be worn either on the wrist like these or clipped onto uh, a child's backpack, maybe even on a lapel, yeah. uh, other piece of clothing. Yeah. So it's a really non-invasive experience for the diabetic. Instead of having to prick the finger and, or wear the mm -hmm. continuous glucose monitor, they're able to have a, a, a higher quality of life. The and technology the is really similar to a diabetic service dog, if you're familiar with okay. that. So instead of uh, a, a cute dog, you know, you've got you know the stylish device. But basically, they do the same thing. And not only will it alert you as the wearer, but you can also have alerts sent out to caregivers. Yeah, so if that's, you're a parent of a diabetic or... Very important thing is that if you, if you are caring for a diabetic, your parent or your child, now our app allows you to connect that entire network of caregivers. So if, if it does detect an event, it thinks something is up, it can send out notifications to them and allow you to take action. So is this an FDA approved device? Like how does it fit into that? Um, that structure in terms of uh, We are able. going uh, uh, through the FDA pr uh, process right now. We expect it'll be a class one device when we're finished with it. There's similar devices on the market, so uh, we're going down that path currently. Okay, great. When can we expect to hopefully see this on the market? End of 2019. Fantastic. It'll be this year. Great. Thank you. Thanks.